All right. I am Cy Brand. I'm at Tartan Lama on Twitter. This is how to cook a chicken. You might be familiar with this question. If kinetic energy is converted into thermal energy, how hard do I have to slap a chicken to cook it? I'm going to use a soy-based chicken alternative in this talk, but it'll be essentially the same thing. So on the left here, we have kinetic energy, which is mass times velocity squared over two. On the right, we have thermal energy, which is mass times specific heat capacity times the change in temperature. Now, if the average human hand weighs 0 0.4 kilograms, the average human slab is 11 meters per second, then the average human slab is going to generate 24.2 joules of energy. If we have one kilogram of chicken substitute and its specific heat capacity is 2,720 joules per um, degree Celsius, then every slab is going to change the temperature by 0 0.008897 degrees Celsius. Now, if our chicken substitute starts off frozen and we want to raise it to 400 degrees Fahrenheit in order to consider it cooked, then we're going to have to raise it by 205 degrees Celsius, which we can do in 23,042 slaps. Now, this is equivalent if we were to slap it once, then we would have to slap it at a velocity of 1,665.65 meters per second. This is kind of cool. Slaps can seem kind of powerful, pretty overpowered. Uh, imagine we have a C++ program, which prints out Hello World. How fast would we need to slap a Microsoft Surface laptop with an Intel Core i7-7660 UCPU running at 2.5 gigahertz in order to run our Hello World program? Well, Intel has this program called PowerLog3, which can tell us what the power consumption of our program is. Now, this tells me that my Hello World program consumes 0 0.183289 joules of energy. I have no idea how accurate this is, but I'm trying my best. So if an average human slap is 24.2 joules, then we could actually power 132 executions of our Hello World program in a single slap, which personally I think is incredible. Now, since we're C++ programmers, we're always thinking about scalability. What's more scalable than Google data centers? Here's a graph of the energy consumption of Google data centers over time. Now, say we wanted to produce enough energy to power all of Google's data centers for 2018 in a single slap. How fast would we have to slap one of Google's power stations? Well, since the Google data centers took 10,573 gigawatt hours of energy in 2018. This is equivalent to 38 quadrillion joules. Now, if we plug this into this um, equation, we can work out we would have to slap one of Google's power stations at 436 million meters per second, which unfortunately is a fair bit faster than the speed of light. So we might end up rupturing space time in trying to do this, but it might be worth it. We should also be thinking about sustainability. You know, maybe we want to extrapolate these numbers out 10 years, or maybe 100 years, or maybe until the end of time. Like this news article says that the sun might explode in about 10 billion years, and maybe the, the earth will be consumed in about 5 billion years. So I tried to extrapolate all this data out to 5 billion years and Excel crashed, which is not what I wanted. But, you know, we're probably not going to last that long. Say we've got another 2,000 years to be generous. To get an exact number, I looked at my printer, which is an HP LaserJet 4350, and that sounds good enough to me. So say we've got until 4350, then that gives us 2,330 years of energy which we need to produce. If we use this equation to sum up this exponential function, we work out we need to produce 5.3386 times 10 to the 188 gigawatt hours of energy. Now, if we plug that into this equation, we can work out the number of people who would be required to slap a Google power station in order to generate this much energy, which is 8.91163 times 10 to the 99 people. Now, I'm going to round this up to 10 to the 100 because it's almost there and what's an order of magnitude between friends. And it turns out that 10 to the 100 is actually a number which has a special name. So the number of people required to slap a Google power station in order to generate enough energy to power their um, data centers from now until the end of time is one Google.